Picture this, you have a beautiful complex scene in Blender and you hit render and then... Now with this technique, I've actually drastically reduced my render times and I'm using it quite frequently now. Now I actually learned this technique from a Twitter thread. I got permission from the user to share this technique here on this channel, but I'll link to them below if you wanna check them out. So it's actually quite simple. What we'll do is we'll hop into our render view and what you're gonna do is render out your object however you want. I recommend that you render it with more of a diffuse lighting because we're gonna be able to, be able to light this later. After that, what you're going to do using the same exact camera view, you're going to switch over to Blender Workbench mode you're going to switch to normal view down here and then you're going to hit render again and that's going to give you a normal map render of your entire object now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding normal maps to these 2d images so that we can still get lighting information out of them so we can render background objects like trees and clouds as these 2d images but still light them realistically and drastically reduce our render times now re-import your image into Blender and the shader editor, go ahead, plug that initial render into the base color and then also plug the alpha into the alpha socket down here. Then import your normal, add a normal map node and plug that into the BSDF node. And now you can go ahead and relight these objects in your scene. Of course it's limited, but it adds a lot of depth to your background objects and can drastically reduce render times on complex objects like clouds. Now that Twitter user that showed me this technique said that he learned it from CG Boost a long time ago. So I'm just gonna go ahead, link to their channel as well, and also shout out to their amazing environment course that they just released, which has a lot of awesome tips.